Welcome back, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Game Right. You're here discussing more villagers. Today, we're talking about the cubs. We're talking about the cubs, one of the best species just because they're so cute and small. The cubs, the cubs, the cubs. I'm filming here on my Christmas tree. Happy holidays. Finally, we made it. I'm so excited to talk about them. There are so many good ones. Like I just wanted to talk about them all and just say how great they are. There are some flops though. Stay on the lookout for those. So we're going to be doing the same we did with the deer just because I've been sick and I don't want to get Kevin sick. So naturally we're just going to do it like this. Let's get into it. Start off, it's Barold. Harold. Barold. Yeah. He's a weird looking little cub. He's first introduced in New Leaf. He looks like a, one of those creepy like man childs that lives in his mom's basement and like is just rotting away. He's got these weird pink lips and like these weird glasses, but some people like him, but most people don't. He's lazy. His catchphrase is cubby, which is cute, but. Barreled. So I don't like Barold at all. I his glasses just look kind of sad to me, and I just don't like the shirt. Let's talk about his place. His place is this creepy, like surveillance, like oh, like he's like creeping in on all the villagers. I don't like it at all. His home though is pretty iconic. I mean, he's just like a creep. He is a creep, and he's just watching everyone on his surveillance cameras. It's kind of scary. It's scary. Blue Bear! I've actually had Blue Bear in New Horizons. I had her seriously for a brief time because I got June, who we'll be talking about in this video as well. I love June so much. And I just didn't want two cubs on my island. I know I have three ducks on my island, but I was just like, branch out, get some different species up in here. Blue Bear is a peppy girl. I honestly thought that Blue Bear was a boy. I don't know if anybody's with me there, but I could have sworn she was a boy. So Blue Bear appears in every Every single Animal Crossing game naturally because she is so stinking cute. Her name is a pun on Blueberry, if you couldn't guess. Her fur is blue. And her catchphrase is Peach! Peach! I love that she's named after Blueberry, but her catchphrase is Peach. I just find that so stinking adorable. Blue Bear. Blue Bear is very sweet. Chase had them. Love her. She's very teal and cute. And her home is really cute. It's like the very girly but mint colored blue, just so it fits her and her peppy. But her place is a little boring. It's just that same old, same old with a different color. Cherry is really cute. Love Cherry. She is a pink cherry themed bear or cub. She um, has the same name as the other cherry, but she has an eye. She's peppy. She's one of the two non-islander villagers to appear at Animal Crossing. The other was Punchy, and her name comes from, of course, Cherry. Her catchphrase is tra-la-la, which makes her seem like she's like skipping around. I really like Cherry. Cherry? Cherry is super cute. I really love her eyes. I think they're adorable. I absolutely love her color. Obviously, we love pink here. I just really think she's cute and I like her dress. Her, her place is just like blueberries but her colors. Her home is like blueberries except she has like the very red. <laughs> furniture. Chester. I don't really like him that much. I think it's the mouth for me. I just don't like the mouth. I love that he is a panda and I actually had his amiibo card. I actually just sold it though on eBay because I was like I'm not gonna use this and somebody else can have him. He is lazy. He was first introduced in City Folk and his catchphrase is rookie. Chester. Chester's I used to not like but I have an appreciation for him because he's like a little panda bear. His home is really cool. I like how it kind of matches is his theme, which him being a panda. Pandas love bamboo, and I love that he has most of the bamboo furniture in his home, along with the wall and the flooring. And his place is very soothing of him because it's like in the bamboo forest where he can eat to his heart's content. Next is Judy. Judy is one of the best of the new ones introduced in New Horizons because she has that cotton candy confection color. She's very sweet in her demeanor, and she has those anime eyes. I used to have Snooty. I didn't know she was so sought after because I got rid of her. She just wasn't like, didn't stand out to me just because of how she like never really talked. But yeah, she's Snooty.
nudies. She's new with New Horizons. And her catchphrase is my own which I used to think because of the anime eyes, it was me on me. I don't know why, don't ask me, but yeah. Judy, a cult favorite, basically of everyone, and I can see why. She's absolutely stunning. She has the anime sweet, dazzling eyes. Love Judy, she's so stinking cute. Her places would seem like it'd be really cool, but it has like these star wallpaper and like stars around the like top of the ceiling, but then it has the block furniture, which is like so basic and ugly. Sorry, Judy. Her home though to me is a flop. The only thing I like about her home are her little star dangle lights. I love those so much. Where I can find those, but I want them so bad. This June! I love June. She is a queen, she's a princess, she's a tropical Hawaiian hula girl queen. I love her. I love the dress, I love the flower. She's normal and she was an islander. She still looks like an islander because if you notice with most of the islanders, they get that flower. Most of them, they take it out. They just don't have it anymore, but June still has it and I love it. Her catchphrase is rainbow. So cute, love it. She's just a tropical queen. June is on my island. I know I said that earlier, but but I'm sure I'll insert some pictures. Next is June. June is really cute. She has this cute little hairstyle with a little flower. Her home is so good. It goes along with her tropical vibe. She's a mermaid. She has all the mermaid furniture, basically. It's just so good. Her place is also really cool. It's very mermaid-y, kind of. She comes out of her little shell and has all the shell furniture. Cody. Cody looks like Huck, I think it is. He's a pig. He's blue. He's kind of basic. He's got this cool, like, Western like vest though i really like he's a jock and his name comes from the kodiak bear his catchphrase is gra gra which is cute because he's like a little bear <laughs> But he looks like Big Blue Bear. Cody. Cody's really cute. I like the blue. Kind of looks like cute. And I like the shirt. His place is just like um, Jeremiah's, the kitty kind of thing, but it has like a rocket. His home is like Jeremiah's. It's very kitty. As you will see throughout this video, a lot of the cubs have kitty rings like teddy bears. Maple. I used to have Maple on my island as well. She is so cute. She's another like cult favorite that everybody loves. She's very sought after. She's normal. She appears in every single Animal Crossing game as she should because she's adorable. Her name comes from maple trees which are known to have light brown leaves, so that's where the name comes from. And her catchphrase is honey. She's so cute. I'm obsessed with her and I'm sad that she left, but again, I didn't want that many cubs. Maple, the classic little cub. She's very sweet. She's got this cute little tuft and this cute little um, thing, her little eyes. And her little tree shirt is really sweet too. Her home is not my favorite though. It's still good because it's like very cozy, very cutesy. So I still like it, but it's not my favorite out of all of them. And her place is just like an average country home with a little furnace. Murphy. I think Murphy is like actually really cute. He kind of like has a place in my heart for some reason. He looks kind of like Cody with switch with like green colors and a little spot switch. And he's got these little squinty eyes. I like him. I feel like no one really ever pays attention to him. He's really sweet. He says malarkey, which is also really funny. Murphy he reminds me of Lyman with the green color. And he kind of looks like Cody just green. I actually like him. His eyebrows and his eyes are cute. I think he's cute. And I really enjoy his place. It's really nice and scenic and like woodsy, very like outdoor, like living outdoors, like a cub would. His home, he lives in a forest, naturally. He's a bear. I like it. It's not dazzling, but it's still really cute. Olive! Olive is so cute. I feel like she's underrated. She's very underrated, I think. I love how she's gray and she has the cute cutest little eyes. Her eyes kind of look like an olive. Also normal. Her catchphrase is sweet pea and she's just really cute. I love the name Olive. My mom has a dog named Olive so it's a great name. Olive. Her home, I don't like it. It's the block furniture. I just don't like the block furniture. It's really boring, lame if you would say. Her place. 
Moving on. Pico or Picoe. Love her. She looks like a little, she's very Chinese inspired. I, I automatically think of Tin Tin from Naruto, who is also Chinese and kind of inspired because she's got the little buns. That's just my pop culture reference. She's really cute because her eyes stand out. They're like very different. And I like how on her little buns, which I guess cover her ears, she has like these little florets. Love that. Her name um, comes from a term in tea leaf grading. She's normal. She first appeared in City Folk, which is interesting. And Picoe also refers to the unopened leaf buds, hence her catchphrase, bud. I love that because like these are like little buds too. Another queen, a queen that I want whenever I get June's picture, Pico. I love her. She is so cute. Ugh, her eyes, her hair, her little ears, and the little pinks on her little, you know, it's really cute. And her home is like Asian inspired. Nice, nice, nice home. And her home is very Asian inspired. She looks like she's very like Asian origin. And I really like that about her. Poncho. Poncho is so cute. I love Poncho as well. I love his little, he's just like the perfect bear to me. Absolutely stunning. He's a jock. His catchphrase is this little bear. And he may be based on a speckled bear, which is a species native to the Indian mountains. And it's the only surviving species of bear in South America. Poncho. Poncho's really cute. I love his colors. I don't know why I just like him so much, but he's just a cute little bear. His home. <sighs> So when I saw this, I was like, I don't know my thoughts on this, but his home, it just, it looks like a dorm, basically. You got your shower, your laundry, and you have three bunk beds. Kind of strange, but I like that it is different. His place is like a dorm room, like a freshman dorm room with all these little bunk beds. It's okay. Pudge. Pudge is really cute. He looks like upset or like dizzy or confused. And he's got these cute little green things on his ears. He's lazy. He looks like that. Uh, and his catchphrase is golly. Golly G. How cute. Pudge. I don't really like Pudge that much. He just looks weird. I think it's the hair for me. I don't like how he's orange and then he has like a darker orange for his hair. He's just not my favorite. His room is like a little kid's room and his tail's also green. I like those little hints of color. He's different. His home is literally like Cody's but green. <laughs> Next is Stitches. Love Stitches. Stitches is a classy. Oh. I used to have stitches on my new lead and I had stitches on my island. I even have a stitches beach, stitches, 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 stitches. He's based on a little cute little um, stuffed bear because he's like the patchwork bear. I love how his little eyes are just little sewed and his catchphrase is stuffing. Love stitches. Love stitches and Kevin had him. He's really cute. Of course, he's like one of the faces of Animal Crossing. I mean, how could you not? He's, he's a little stuffed bear that had his like parts removed and stuff. He's so cute. This is home is not that great, but I like how he has his stuffed animals lined up. It's really cute. His home, I really like his home the best. I feel like out of the kitty rooms because it's actually different. Tammy, so Tammy was my my starter sisterly so i had flip and i had tammy i had her for a while and her home was absolutely horrendous as you all know how the starters go um she's sisterly and she first appears in new leaf so she's pretty new and her catch is you heard i love that she was fine not my favorite she was kind of like first on the chopping block whenever i wanted to go get new villagers so i didn't really care for her tammy tammy um i've seen a lot of a lot of people got tammy i like tammy i like her color Home. When you actually get her home, it is so cute. I love it. It's really cool. I like the wallpaper and I love the flooring and I love her little mat. And her place is pretty cool. I like the, the she has a little TV room. Vladimir Droskaya Gruski. Never mind. <laughs> He's from Russia. That's his name. is Vladimir and he says Nyet, which is no in Russian. He's this pink, adorable little bear. I love that he's pink and he's so grumpy. He's cranky. But yeah, he's so Thank you. Vladimir. Vladimir's really cute. I actually really like him. I love how they made Frankie look tough, but he's pink and I love that. His place is like mini crankies. It's like construction theme, but he's overall really cute. And his home, his home is a flop. It's so bad. It's literally like a tool shed, like with some construction. I don't like it. I thought they'd give him like something pink. I mean, they did give him a pink vending machine, but still. All right. 
and those are the little cubbies. In summary, I really enjoyed the cubs. They're very sweet and cute and their colors, a lot of them stand out. And now it's time to rate them. Ranking now. So my least favorite is probably gonna be Barreled. I really like his home. It's very different, very creepy, kind of goes with him, but his design for me is a miss. I would rank Olive as my least favorite just because she's so boring. And my favorite, of course, is gonna be Stitches because it's Stitch. It's Stitch. He's just so cute and a classic. Everyone loves Stitches. And my favorite, I literally could pick like 20 favorites. I love Maple. I love Pico. But I'm gonna have to say at the moment, I love June just because she fits all of my tropical dreams. She's so cute. I love her. But yeah, that's been the video. All right. Thank you all so much for watching the Cubs today. I hope you enjoy. Please tell us your faves and your least favorites. Let us know what you think. Like, subscribe, and see us next week. And we will see you next week at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Sunday. Bye, guys.